Home is where the heart is. In the moment a rosary bead snapped, scattering like panicked mice when the lights go on, and skittering under tables, feet, every surface in all directions, Betty knew she'd made a mistake. The head nun's wrinkled face, so stoic up to now, folded into itself in disgust like an angry raisin. She got red, and Betty got gone. Nuns are no fun. Nuns are no fun. An evacuation is tough, even without being separated from siblings. Betty's sister had been selected hours ago, it seemed, and at only five years old. Five years old. Could anybody blame Betty for desperately fighting back? Apparently, yes. Nuns are no fun. So Betty hid quick from the otherwise empty room, stinging with swallowed curses, the threat of a caning electric in the air. She hid deep, deep in the makeshift den of the stacked up chairs from the other children who'd already disappeared with different families. Her ears rung and her eyes stung with swallowed tears. Betty was the last to go. She wasn't ready. The nun got redder. But we all know, bladders are the enemy sometimes. So Betty had to resurface and accept the home of the last kind woman with its red bricked outhouse, single wooden panel seat, cobwebbed in its peaceful solitude, where she could focus on her swinging legs and be alone and cry big, slow, luxurious tears and sit Think, think of the city. After all, what is home other than the place we feel safe enough to cry?